What is going on everyone? Today I'm going to try and start a fire with this magnesium fire stick here. I've had this thing in my pack for a couple years now and thank God I've never had to use it in real life but I figured I better get used to it and see how hard or how easy it is to start a fire with this thing. So, Alright as you can see I put a piece of wood down on the ground because it's a little wet and it still has a little bit of snow on there so you want to get your fire off of the ground to get started. All right, the next thing you want to do is you want to separate uh, the blade, the little blade here, from the magnesium stick. And to do that, you have to unclasp this chain here and pull the two pieces apart. And this will make it easier for you to scrape and get your spark going. All right, so how this thing works is you have to scrape a pile of the magnesium, which is the yeah. stick here. Once you scrape enough of a pile of the magnesium here onto the board, if you flip the, the stick over, there's a ferro rod here that's going to create spark, and the magnesium pile is going to catch that spark and it's going to create a flame. So, all right, so as you can see, fire making 101, you have to also prepare and gather your material that you need to start the fire. So, what you need is something dry to catch the flame once you get the flame going, and then you need a pile of smaller twigs and then you slowly move up in size to medium sized sticks and then once the fire gets going then you can add on some bigger logs so you won't be able to start a fire with just big old logs and so make sure that you prepare and you prep your material before you start this fire otherwise your fire is going to go out I'm going to take this little blade section here there's some teeth under here and all I'm doing is I'm going to try and scrape off some shavings See the shavings are starting to come off and it's just little dust particles almost. Now I'm noticing that these dust particles are so fine that wind, the wind is blowing it off so make sure when you're trying to make a fire now that you have an uh, area that's sheltered from the wind. Now you want to gather as much as you can into a pile so that it's concentrated so it'll give it a nice big burst of flame and you want to make sure you have your dry stuff really close because this flame is only going to last for a couple seconds so you want your dry material to catch the flame as soon as you get that flame going now you might not be able to see it because it's so small but there's some dust particles right here that's what it looks like it's just fine little dust particles so you want to try and gather all that and make it turn it into a pile all right just want to apologize i did get a flame going but my memory card got full so i had to get a new memory card but so now i'm starting over again and i'm trying to get my shavings pile back i f i found out that just scraping down you don't lose as much uh, shaving so all right here we go make sure that your dry pile is really close because the flame burns up really quick here, here we go get your dry pile going throw your small piece of wood on there And you've got fire. It works. All you gotta do is just keep feeding it now. Just keep feeding it dry material and the wood and then 
Soon you'll get your fire going. Get your TP going. It's very important to try and get your wood to split open like this because it's harder for the bark to catch fire uh, than it is the very dry inside parts of the branch or the pieces of wood. If you split your uh, branches in half, it's going to catch fire easier. Alright guys, there you go, we got a fire going. Like I said, just make sure you have your material ready to go. Make sure you have all your dry material close to you. And then start small, small twigs. And then smaller branches, smaller twigs, and then just slowly move up from there. But we got a fire going, so we know it works.